all know her name. Let's give a round of applause for Judy Torres. Yeah. It's what? It's what? What did you say? And uh, my name is Judy Torres. I'm from WKTU 103.5 FM from the morning show. And I'm also a professional singer. And I was asked to be here tonight. So it means a lot for me to be here. And I want to thank you so much for being here for such a great cause. And such, it's something so important and so dear to everyone's hearts here tonight. So I just want to thank you. So we're going to start this off the right way. Our first performer, her name is Ellie de Amor. She's beautiful. She's one of the coordinators of tonight's event, A Night of Roses. And uh, she's also production stage manager at Lehman College. She sings. She does everything. I think she is a woman of all trades. She'll be singing tonight and she's dedicating her performance tonight to her sister, Rosie Alvelio. Please put your hands together for them.
I'm so glad I'm here tonight. I just want you guys to know that. I feel really good. Normally I'm in bed. I'm in bed by eight because I wake up at four to go to work, so. But I'm glad I'm here. All right, this next uh, young lady has a very personal experience to share with you regarding lupus. She is told, um, people have told me that she's a very, very strong woman, a very independent woman. And uh, she joined Night of Roses last year. Please put your hands together for Miss Tabitha Colon. Good evening, everyone. I have my notes because I'm nervous, so <laughs> bear with me. Like I told my dad, I'm not a speaker. <laughs> well, as you know, my name is Tabitha Colon, and I'm here tonight because Ellie asked if I would speak on the topic coping with lupus. And as you know, I have lupus. How do I cope? Well, I'll tell you. I see myself better off today, mentally and emotionally, than two years ago prior to being diagnosed with lupus. Do you know why? <laughs> well, it's because I live life. Do you live life? I mean, really live life? Or do you just go through the emotions like everybody else does today? Do you know that today there's a number one killer? And do you know what that is? It's not lupus as you thought it may be, but it's the lifestyle of people. Don't get me wrong, I'm not downplaying the seriousness of lupus. And I don't have a real textbook or a book on methods on coping with lupus. But more people today have died from stress because they don't know how to live with life. And that's my secret. I don't cope with lupus. I have lupus. I cope with life. I do better than that. I enjoy and I live life. Imagine that, having lupus and enjoying it. I'm a lot healthier, and I feel I'm a lot healthier than most people today. Because now, I see life a different way. Every day to me is a glorious day. I take what I call my own personal timeouts. Whenever I see the stress coming, or too much that um, is going to come my way and I can't handle, I take a timeout. I sit back, I take a take at home. And I just sit back and breathe. <laughs> I breathe life. I know how to believe in the future, and I have hope every day. And for the first time in over 25 years of my life, I'm happy. Granted, I'd be happy if there was a cure for lupus, but I know how to live and appreciate, and therefore, I can cope. I know we all have heard, and I've heard a lot of people say, God won't give you more than what you can handle. And I believe that. I also believe that each of us has a purpose. And maybe I was given this to carry this burden just to help someone else. I don't know, maybe appreciate life a little more. You know, just yesterday, I was released from the hospital two days from being admitted. Ellie, well, she didn't know that. <laughs> but that's what makes me, being here tonight, much more worthwhile. My being hospitalized yesterday doesn't mean anything more than my lupus was having a bad day. We have to be positive in life and having lupus. I feel I've become a much stronger and better person since being diagnosed with lupus. Isn't that ironic? When I wake up every morning, I don't think about how many pills I have to take or how I have to, or how there's no cure for this disease or how, or how someday I may die. All I know is that I say, right now I'm living, thinking positive again. But I owe a lot to other people. I owe thanks to my mom and dad who are here. You 
You give me purpose, your love keeps my heart safe as mine. Mm -hmm. I owe it to my cousin. She's been great. She taught me how to be myself, how to believe in myself, that I'm special, and I always stand tall, even though I'm five feet. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still tall. <laughs> And to my uncle, her dad, Councilman Jose Rivera, who's the best example ever because he's probably going to live out all of us with all that energy. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows how to live life. <laughs> so, once again, how do I cope? I owe it to those people who love me and to myself to be the best that I can be. And my life is this life and whatever I make it, I won't live as though I'm dying. And for those who are healthy today, shame on you. Shame on you if you're not living. Thank you. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why we have many voices. Thank you for being one of our capuditos tonight. The other Capuchito that we have this evening is a very special lady who's been hosting with us all night. Mm -hmm. Judy, from the bottom of my heart, not only do I admire you, think you are one of the most beautiful women in the music industry. I am very proud to be La Misma Cultura que tú. And I am also happy and so indebted for you being here tonight and celebrating this with us. So for that, we could have gotten an award and made a whole big deal about it, but we felt that you're now part of our family and we hope that you continue to be a part of our family. So everybody here in this room signed a special card of thank you for you tonight. Carlos. Thank you. By the time he's 18, we're gonna continue to keep in touch. <laughs> By the time he's 18, I'll still be single, so don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Just bad luck, you know, but anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you, you know, I, um, without starting to cry, because I'm a typical woman who cries, all I have to do is see you cry, and not only that, but, you know, I, I, I want to <laughs> thank you for, for humbling me, you know, I, we, I, <laughs> I'm never speechless, I talk too much, anyway, um, you know, I, I am blessed that I have my health. And I'm blessed that I don't know what that is. But at the same time, I'm not. Because I also have a friend, her name is Evelyn Montanez, who I went to high school with. She went to Aquinas High School with me. She was always late. But she was the most hyper person I've ever known. Always running around. And everyone would make fun of her because she was the girl who always came to school without her homework. She was the girl who always, like, she just was never put together. She left her book bag in class, she left her books home. There was always something like going on with her. She became the head of a psychiatric ward in a hospital. I forget which hospital it is, it is in the Bronx. She's an amazing, incredible woman. She was just diagnosed with lupus about three months ago. And that's why I wanted to do this here tonight because she's very, very dear to my heart. She was one of my best friends. And to see someone who was relentless and see this, you know, have the nerve to try and stop her really makes me angry. But I, I am so inspired by the fact that she wakes up every morning and she still goes to work in spite of everything. And you know, I pray that the, a cure comes soon. And if, it's not, if it doesn't, like you said, God never gives you more than you can already handle. And God is a good God and there is a reason for everything. So I pray for you, okay? And I pray for the cause and I, anytime you need me, I'll be here next year, I'll sing next year. But yeah. let's do it a little earlier. You know, just a little bit earlier. And we'll do a duet and we'll write a song. We'll do this whole big thing. Okay? Yeah. 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 Special birthday here. Even though he's my nephew, he's more like my brother. And his birthday is the day after mine. And it would honor us if you would sing with me. 
Happy birthday to him. His name is Frankie.